When Fall Flavors time rolls around, it's pretty exciting because there's a lot of buzz and there's harvest, there's just amazing vegetables that are coming in. Fall Flavors is just a lot of fun. Here. I got some delicious stuff right here for you. We've got, yeah. we've got a fresh corn johnny cake with a molasses and peach pulled pork with a jalapeno creme fraiche. Right it's a big taste of old home, it's really good. <laughs> What we have is some poached uh, local mackerel, which we got from MRC Foods. And it's leaning up against some oishi braised pulled pork that's been wrapped in turnip and tempura fried. Whoa. It's on the uh, oishi spiked pumpkin puree with compressed apple, pickled kohlrabi, and oishi gel. All the vegetables we get from uh, Baldus's farm market. There's Diane Balderson right there. Tonight we worked with uh, a couple of local producers. We made uh, a chicken and bacon galantine, which is a type of uh, pate where the the chicken is, uh, is ground and uh, mixed with various spices and seasonings. We, have, we added a little bit of uh, local bacon. And uh, we stuffed it back in its own skin and poached it. And we served a, a local rhubarb butter, sort of like apple butter, but with rhubarb instead. And then uh, for dessert, we had a blackcurrant gelée, also local blackcurrants, which is something we don't really have in, uh, in Chicago. We don't really have a lot of access to uh, fresh blackcurrants, so it was really nice to be able to work with that. What we're serving tonight is our tomato and zucchini soup in homemade bread bowls, which are gluten-free. And then we have Cheese Lady Gouda and Riverview Market Black Forest Ham made into a panini on our homemade PEI potato bread. So everything we're serving tonight is made with island products, and it's also gluten-free. There's lots of uh, variety of events that go on, uh, from family to the high-end dining events that uh, happen, such as Fortune's Feast. We use pork syrup basically the same exact way we use maple syrup. Culinary experts in this island are exceptional, second to none, I'd say. People were uh, very surprised. Like, I didn't know PEI can make food like this. I didn't know PEI food tasted like this. Come and see us. You won't be disappointed.